welcome back to my channel today. It's going to be a much needed spring clean of my house. This is going to be a full house spring clean. So I am going to be doing the whole house in a day. So it's not going to be a deep clean. But if you do want more in-depth deep clean videos per room, then do let me know. But today, like I said, I'm doing a spring clean of the entire house. I have some new goodies, some new products which I'm going to be using today. So first of all, before we jump into the time lapse and the voiceover of me cleaning my house, I'm going to run through the products I'm going to be using and some new finds that I have picked up and cannot wait to try. If you are new here, please do stick around and subscribe. If you want more videos like this, give me a thumbs up and comment down below any other suggestions of videos you might want to see. Without further ado, let's jump in to the product rundown. Okay, so first of all, do you like my little spring setup? These are all sort of home scents purchases which I've got out for this kind of time of the year. I'm probably going to get through pretty much all of these by doing the full house and first of all these apple ones are from Aldi. These are the Dettol ones with the citrus. I actually prefer the citrus as opposed to apple but I thought I would mix it up a little bit with springtime and have an array of fruits. And then speaking of an array of fruits, this flash floor cleaner is in mandarin and cedarwood and this is what I'm going to be using to mop the floors throughout downstairs. I've got this Febreze fabric multi-purpose spray for like the sofa, the bedding and everything once it's all laid out and just needs a spritz at the end along with the air refreshener which is, this one's in partnership with Lenore and it's called Spring Awakening Scent so we'll give that a try, I've never used that one before but we'll see how we go. And then similarly I've never used this fragrance before, it is a limited edition, it's the 1001 Carpet Fresh which I spritz on upstairs on the carpets before hoovering and I sometimes even spritz a little bit after as well. This is in Spring Blossom and Mandarin. My trusty Zaflora which is going to be throughout the entire house. I picked up the Hello Spring scents but also I have my eyes on the new fragrance which is the Green Valley. A, a friend of mine has it and it smells incredible. It smells like a men's aftershave. Really really good and that one is pet friendly as well so once this and the rest of my Sephora collection is whittled down a little bit. I'm going to get my hands on the Green Valley and start using that one. But for now, I use this spritz bottle, which I picked up from Class Olsen. I used the Dymo printer to print out a little Sephora tab on this spritz bottle. I just dilute some of the Sephora with water in here and spritz it on all the surfaces at the end, as you will see. I've recently started using the Lenore Unstoppables in Wash Scent Booster. This is a new fragrance I have in spring. I think it's the lavish one that I really like. It's it's the cream coloured one. That's my favourite. But these were on offer in home bargains. I, I think they're about £5 for this size. And these are in, incredible. I was a bit worried about using these unstoppables at first because I can get quite sensitive skin. So I have to be careful like what detergents I use and everything like that. However, so far I have used uh, a whole one of these and I'm yet to have a problem. So fingers crossed I'm going to enjoy this fragrance which coincides nicely with this video as it is in the spring. And then last but not least, I have a new bleach for our toilet and this is the Duck Fresh Action Gel in Tropical Sunshine. So there you have a rundown of all the products that I'm going to be using. I also switched up my letterboard to say but first coffee into Hello Spring. Any other suggestions of spring appropriate kind of quotes that I can put in that? I like to change it up every once in a while so do pop them down in the comments below and let me know your suggestions. The first thing I want to do is just jot down and write a list out of everything that I need to do just to keep my mind focused on the tasks at hand. I'm a checklist kind of gal. I love to like write a list, tick it all off and I feel far more productive at the end. And speaking of feeling far more productive, I am wearing this set from Primark. I feel far more productive in gym gear, even if it's gym gear as in this kind of set which is a bit more of a prettier gym gear or some kind of loungewear something that I'm comfortable in if I was trying to do a full house clean in tight mom jeans or something like that I just I wouldn't do it if I'm doing a house clean and I have like something on in the background whether it be like on my laptop like YouTube videos or catch up on like TOWIE or something like that 
it actually distracts me and don't get me wrong I do do that sometimes but more maybe if I'm just doing a room or just more leisurely but for the purpose of today's video and for whenever I'm doing like a full house clean I want to get it done I put music on because TV distracts me too much as much as I think that I can get away with just putting YouTube on it doesn't once the video finishes I then need to find another one or like having to carry my laptop around with me. So we actually have the Google Home hubs, both downstairs and upstairs. So I'll just get her to play the radio or something. Having music is far less of a distraction and it's actually quite motivating. So if you want to join me in this list making whilst watching this video, then by all means, please do so. And perhaps as like a little motivator, when you do next, do a full house spring clean, perhaps just replay this video. Like it so it will save to your liked videos and then you can re-watch this video as and when you feel like you need a house clean so you can get your notes, get your list back up, realise what you need to do and I also find that watching a cleaning video or two before cleaning myself gets me in the mood. Mrs Hinch is usually my go-to. Okay, so first of all, I start with making my spring clean list, which I will do a little clip of just in a sec. If you just want to pause and have a look at it yourself, then you can do so now. So as you can tell, the first thing that I am doing is bringing out my cleaning box and basically just doing a general tidy up of the entire house, putting everything away back in its place. This is in our bedroom now, so the first thing, well, stay hydrated guys, <laughs> but the first thing that I will do is make my bed and I literally cannot leave the house with an unmade bed. And then back in the kitchen, I just head under our sink to grab the bin bags and I basically just go around the house emptying all the bins. What I'm doing here is just soaking a piece of kitchen roll with Zaflora and just popping it in the bottom of the bin before going around and emptying the bins in the rest of the rooms throughout the house. Once I have taken out all of the bins, I will go back again to just do a general tidy up. So this is in like our front room. We've got quite a lot of clutter, which I need to sort through really. But for now, I'm just shaking out the rug, replacing it and basically just tidying up the house. Once all the clothes and everything are put away, I will go around the entire house and flip the reeds from all the reed diffusers that I have, which basically just makes them smell amazing. And then any that are empty, I fill with Zaflora. One of you guys gave me that tip and it does work. So every so often I switch the reeds, just flip them upside down. I'd say once a week at least. Okay, now that everything is tidied away, I will begin my cleaning, starting with dusting pretty much the entire house. I tend to follow the same process in all the rooms, first of all. So I've got one of these dusters that gets any cobwebs up high, and then also a handheld duster for all surfaces that I can reach. Once all these surfaces have been dusted, I'll just pop the duster head and any cloths that I've got into the washing machine, ready to put a wash on in a bit. Then I will move on to this sofa area in the lounge and the first step for me is to remove all the throws. I have a few as you can tell and I give the entire sofa a good brush down.
I'll then use my Febreze fabric just all over the entire sofa on the back of it as well and I find it just makes the whole room smell lovely and fresh and then I reposition all my throws and cushions before moving on to hoovering the entire house. Upstairs on all the carpets I am using this 1001 carpet fresh which I do put on before hoovering but it does even say that you don't have to hoover it up so what I'll do is I'll go in first spray it hoover but then before I leave the room I'll just spritz a little bit more just so that that fragrance is really intense and then I move on to watering all of the plants around the house Next up I'm using the Windeline Glass and Shiny Surface Cleaner on all the windows and mirrors again throughout the entire house. Moving on to the next step, I am getting my Hello Springs of Flora new scent into my spray bottle, combine it with some water and essentially the next stage will be to use these floor wipes on all the surfaces, floors throughout and then I follow with these Flora spray and I use a microfiber cloth as well, I just find it picks up any excess dust and I do that again throughout the entire house. For some reason I didn't uh, record this next clip but essentially what I've done is put some Zaflora in the sink with hot water which you can see there and it just makes the whole kitchen smell amazing and then I'm going in with the floor wipes and this floor mop cleaner thing that I got that's actually broken so I wouldn't recommend it, I'm going to be getting a new one. I then light my candle which is one of my favourite steps to do, I absolutely love candles burning and that is the kitchen complete. Now that the kitchen is complete, I then move on to the rest of the house and use the same two steps. Firstly, the surface wipes all over all the surfaces, followed by the Zaflora spray and microfiber cloth. Another favourite as a flora hack of mine is to spritz it on the radiators as it makes the whole house smell amazing. Moving on to the bathroom now, I am taking the bath mats, replacing them with a brand new one and putting those ones in the wash and again following the same steps, this time with the other citrus floor wipes on all the surfaces and followed with the Zaflora. I'll also be using this Duck Fresh Action Gel Bleach in the toilet and I give it a once over with the toilet brush, give it a flush and then put some more bleach in and just leave it to set. Flora and this time I'm popping a bit with hot water in the bath and again it's just another little Zaflora hack that makes the whole house smell amazing. The final step in this speed clean of the bathroom is just to spritz some Febreze air spray and of course light a candle. This is an Elemis one which smells amazing, perfect for the bathroom. And there we have it, the entire house is now clean so what I'm going to do is just pop any cloths that I've used into the wash using the Lenore Unstoppables in Spring Scent. I just put them on a quick wash and then hang them out to dry. 
Then with it being a spring clean, I thought it was only appropriate to treat myself to some new spring flowers. I just picked these up from our local supermarket along with these cute little lint bunnies which were in the clearance, so any excuse. Tick off my checklist, everything complete. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want more in-depth cleaning videos of each room, then please do let me know. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. It means so, so much to me. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.